For anyone out there who grew up during the Grape Nuts era, you'll remember the commercial with Yule Gibbons in there pointing at a pine tree saying something along the lines of, every the pine tree, some parts are edible, and he sure is right. And they're very nutritious as well. Pine tree pollen is used in a traditional tea snack here in Korea, and it was reserved just for the kings a long time ago. But now we are lucky enough to today learn how to make it. So you kind of shake this thing around, and it gets pollen out there, and the flavor is... <laughs> wow! That's pretty fierce! That'll wake you up early in the morning for sure. It's a, a little bit fruity, a little bit dry, a little bit like the skin of uh, some citrus fruits, just a little bit. Now, they also use this part to make some vinegar things. And the flowers, I don't know what they do with the flowers. Maybe they just eat those directly. Let me give it a shot. Nope, you don't. You don't eat those flowers directly. Absolutely not. Oh. So today, we are lucky enough to have Yun Son Seng Nim teaching us how to make these traditional Korean tea snacks. She is a tea master accredited all over Korea, one of the very few. She's going to show us how to do this. This is black sesame seed. This is a jelly. We we're not pressing this today. This one is the most unusual. It is pine tree pollen. Now, pine tree pollen has a unique quality in that, of course, pollen flows in the wind, right? That's why people have pollen attacks in the spring. Well, if you don't do this correctly, this pollen will just all float away before you're able to make the snack. This is a very, very strong flavored snack and very unusual. It's just reserved for royalty in past times. So she mixes honey along with the pine tree pollen, does it in a bag so that it doesn't fly away, presses it, and that's it. There's nothing else in there. Okay. Oh, okay. So by volume, it's approximately three to one by volume, but by weight, this thing is very light. This is very heavy, so it's probably ten to one by weight. Got to press really hard to get the impression that you're looking for. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hard to do this, a little bit tiring to do this. Got to really press down. Wow. <laughs> no, I think a little dowel might work better for this, but oh well, that's just my idea. In the meantime, I'll keep pressing with my thumb. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that is a, quite the unique flavor. Slightly sweet, and then you get a dry pollen kind of an aftertaste, but it's unlike anything that I've had before, except, of course, this snack, because it has a really strong flavor that doesn't really taste like pine trees, but tastes more like, I would think, 
kind of a dry citrusy powder. Boy, this is a lot harder to make than it looks. Stick on fingers. Yeah, but that's the bonus though, because you get to eat that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, Yes, kind of a dry citrus, sweet dry citrusy powder with a little bit of, it's a little bit astringent, but you will never forget that flavor if you get a chance to taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Very nice. There we go. Since I chose me, da. Make sure that's it's okay. A second. Okay, let's see now. I don't want any waste. Let's go. Okay. Wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pressed really hard on that one. <laughs> I pressed I pressed really hard, yeah. So if you were to turn out these on a like a restaurant basis, you'd have to have someone doing this job only full time. <laughs> Wow, oh, nice. Wow, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, I know. Oh, oh. Mmm. 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 Mm